Hello. <laughs> I was looking at. I know I look so crazy, but on my thing, the it's like you know when you're loading up something, it, this wheel of death where it just goes round and round and round, waiting for it to record. So they're waiting for something to open. That's what happens when I'm recording. Is this wheel goes round and round, and I'm like, do I say anything? I don't know. So, hello, welcome to Monday. It is Monday, April sixth. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so welcome. Um, I have to tell you, uh, I've been struggling today. Um, it was a weird morning. It was a really weird, like, yeah, like uh, through all this, I've been pretty good. I've been pretty up and pretty positive. And this morning I wasn't there and I wasn't, and I'm still not all there, but just kind of just feeling not the greatest. And you know, so I'm, I come to school and I'm thinking, okay, what am I going to do? What I, I got, and I'm, and I'm trying to make things and I'm, I'm like looking up how to make gliders out of straws and paper that doesn't really work. I wouldn't suggest it. Um, and I'm looking and my head is not really in it today. And I thought, you know what? I got to come on and talk to you guys about this, about how, what are feelings and about how it's okay to not be okay. Um, cause yeah, I'm not in a great headspace, um, kind of all over the map, and that's okay. That's okay to not be okay. It's okay to, to not always be that, woohoo, everything's going to be okay, everything's going to be awesome, we're all going to get through this, and yes, we will, but those feelings of, of, of fear, or anger, or sadness, being mad, those are all valid, meaning they're all, you're okay. Um because we get them too. Uh, parents, teachers, everyone gets those feelings. So if you're ever feeling like through all this, and I don't know if it's happened already or if it might happen, but things happen where you, you, you're you just off. And and that's what's happening to me today. I'm having an off day. So no, it's okay. It's okay to not be okay. But here's the thing. Oh, should you ever put the word but in something? Maybe not. But what I, but what I want you to know. I want you to know that everything is temporary as well. So those feelings, those feelings of fear and, and sadness and anger, even joy, even uh, happiness, everything is temporary. And this too will be temporary. Okay. It will. <sighs> okay. I feel better. So let's do a, let's do a breath. Uh, oh, I learned something. I was going to show you it after, but I think now is appropriate, but I'm going to do something with this fingers, but I'm going to, I wanted to show you, um, I uh, did a meditation thing. And meditation, don't get freaked out. Ah, no, she's going to teach us meditation. Um, I just want you to learn how to breathe because sometimes we need that, and I need that right now. So it's a cool one. I've done it before, uh, but they reminded me on the weekend. Uh, but you have your hand. It's with your hand. It's very visual. And you inhale for four, and then you exhale for four. But the cool thing is, is you're going to touch your – you're going to start with your pinky and your thumb, and you're going to go inhale for one, two, three, four. Four, and then your exhale. One, two, three, four. Cool, hey? So then it was something like this. Here we go. And there's something really neat about it because you're breathing, but it's also a visual, like you can actually see yourself doing it. And I can feel my shoulders going down as I'm doing it, right? So just all you do, I start with the pinky. It doesn't matter which we start with, but I just go inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I don't know, something. I liked it. Um, and I need to have those reminders sometimes. So uh, thinking of what I was going to show you, not this. It's not a great glider. Uh, so it's got a little circle and a big circle and a straw and two paper clips underneath. And then to throw it. Ah, uh, that doesn't work so good. What the heck? So I thought, okay, skip that. What I used to love doing was uh, making like these little fingerprint pictures when I was a kid. That's a long time ago. So uh, I was lucky because my mom worked in an office and so she had ink pads and this is an ink pad that I have here at school 
But I was thinking, well, what could you do if you don't have an ink pad? Well, if you have one, whoa! But if you don't, what I did is I took a sponge and some paint, and I put some paint in it. First, I got the sponge wet because I found the truth. The sponge was all like dried up. Like, and so I wetted it with water, and I squeezed all the water out of it, and then I put some paint in it because then it makes it like, which finger can you use? Because then it makes it like, you can squish it, right? You can get stuff on your finger. Um, let me just wipe that off. For a second, so there's paint and a sponge. But you're like, Miss Payer, I don't have any paint. So I'd be like, Oh, well then, uh, you could take some food coloring. I just have some blue food coloring in the cupboard. And I took a sponge and I took uh, some food coloring and I dropped, 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 dropped in there. And then when I do my fingerprints, I could like push in there and it makes some ink on your finger. But then that might be a little bit too messy. And that one's a little bit more permanent. That one doesn't wipe off very easily. Uh, but you still might be like, Miss Pye, I don't have any sponges. So, last resort, you could always just take a marker if you have a marker. And all I did is I, can you see me do this? I colored, and I'm kind of going in an oval because if I don't, it'll look weird. So I did an oval. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go on the paper. So we're going to tip down, tip down, tip down, tip down. Woo! Okay, stay. There we go. And I take that where I put that ink on. I'm going to make some fingerprints. Now, oh, it looks kind of blurry. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But all I'm going to do is I'm just taking some. I'm going to do it with my ink. I'm going to make some fingerprints. Uh, I can take with the paint. Right? Making some fingerprints. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one. Kind of like this. I'm going to do this one over and over and over again. And see how I'm kind of going back and forth and back and forth. Uh, and then, once you dry your hands off with a Kleenex or a paper towel, or maybe you have to go wash. Then you're going to take a Sharpie. Oh, I should do another one. Let me do... Uh, oh, I want to do a red one. This. Ah! I the ink pad. And I had to add some water to my ink pad because they're kind of dried out. I'm going to put one there. Oh, this one. The ink pad does work really nice, but you can make it work with other things. Okay. So, I've got these, and I know it's really hard to see, and I'll bring it up closer, I promise. Uh, but what you could do is make these into things. So, like this little dude, I'm going to make him having, like, he's going to have a little hat. He's going to be having his feet here, and he's going to be, his nose, his eye, his mouth. And there's his hand, and he's walking, right? So, there's my little dude. Oh, I'll show it to you so you can see it better after. Oh, and I was going to do a bunny. That's what I was going to do. So I was going to take my finger with the marker. I'm just going around. The bad thing with the markers, you have to keep going round and round and round and round, right? So then I'm going to make, so there's his, kind of his two ears. And then I'm going to make his head. And then I'm going to make his body. Oh, I was going to use, yeah. Uh, if you can see, I'm making the body with my thumb because I want it rounder and bigger. Oh, it's hard to get my thumb down there. Oh, okay, cool. So, wiping off my fingers, and then, right, like, this is my bunny, and I know it's kind of hard to see, but I will show you once I tip it up. Uh, and it's kind of dark, but that's okay. Uh, this one, I'm going to go like this. Right. Making some sort of, like, caterpillar dude thing. Uh, and this one, I was thinking, I could do something like this. All right. So let me show you. Let's bring it back up. All the way up here. Yay. So all I did is I just took some fingerprints and I added like made a caterpillar, centipede, dude, bunny, a guy, maybe making it into some hard things. Again, with just my fingerprints. So maybe playing around with that today, but it makes you a little messy. Oh, and I did not forget Hunter in grade six. Hunter in grade six. I felt so bad that I didn't have his picture ready for on Friday. And I could have redone it, but, you know, Miss Pines, she only does it one time. She does one take and whatever happens, happens. So let me show you Hunter's picture. If I can share. This should be shared with you. And then. Yay! There's Hunter Great Six. So, Hunter, I did not forget about you. You're going to be on twice. You're going to be on today, Monday, and on thursday so cool he did some like uh uh is it pokemon forgive me hunter i'm pretty sure it's pokemon i'm looking at it like a, a stadium you know like a like a like a 
Rock'em Sock'em Stadium thing out of a cardboard box and some string, it looks like. So super cool. I thought that was awesome. He has his stuffies in there. It's awesome. So, uh, get that out of here. There we go. Uh, let's go here and stop presenting. Awesome. So thank you, Hunter. Um, yeah. So today, these things I want you to remember. It's okay not to be okay. It's okay to be okay. Everything is temporary. All the feels. All the feels. I've gone through them all. This weekend, I was like mad. I was sad. I was frustrated. I, yeah. It, I had all the feels. So sometimes that happens. But they are temporary. And this, what's happening is temporary too. It might be a little longer than we expect. And don't take those words and say, Mrs. Fire said it's going to be long. No, I'm just, I don't know. Nobody knows. Right? So, yeah. Everything is temporary. And breathing. So, oh, which one's? Okay, let's do this one because I can I can see this one better. So breathing in for four. This might help. Like this helps me. Breathing always helps. I always have my breath. So inhale for four. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then I did it the other way. I started with my pointer finger. So it doesn't really matter. Just it's something like a little visual to look at. And then making some fingerprint stuff. I want to see your pictures. It's a long day here uh, without seeing or hearing from any of you. So if you could send me more pictures, of course, at Sheila Pair at pwpsd.ca. Nope. PWP yes, I remember. Um, yeah, stay safe. Uh, be creative. If, it doesn't have to be just the fingerprint stuff. Show me anything you have. Um, later this week, we might play this. And I was thinking, I was thinking what about um, spring break? I thought, I'm going to play this with you guys every day on spring break to see if you can, if I can tell you how to draw something. We'll see. Okay? All right. Stretch your arms up really, really big. Really, really, really big. Stretch, 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 stretch. Fingertip to fingertip. Uh, and then wrap those fingers, uh, wrap those arms around yourself. Take a big breath in. Deep breath out. Yeah, that's what I need today. Now let's go opposite. So stretch those fingertips. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Ooh, coming to get you. Stretch. And then opposite arm on top. <sighs> Wrap yourself in a big hug. And then remember to hug the people in your family. I find that so hard. I don't get to hug anybody but my son and my husband. And my son is already saying, Mom enough no more oh well uh, okay big hugs for me to you uh it's monday we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this together and have a good day and i hope to see you tomorrow i know it's been really hard uh not many people are watching the videos anymore and that's okay but for those of you who are still watching thank you thank you thank you thank you um see you tomorrow have a great day day and I'll see you Tuesday April 7th